singing because if you seen all my snap story or you seen all my insta story what this room was like before it needed an act of Jesus to come and help me put this thing together it's taken a while it's taken like a good three weeks I would say but I've been working on it here and there and when I can uh oh there he goes right here Anyways, let's get this thing rolling. Uh, pl please put that back. I just thought you, you might use it in the picture. Oh, this is a video. Oh. This is my 24 week video. Uh, I thought I thought you was going to hold it in your hands and talk to it. Oh, no. Hey, you can tell them what week I'm on, okay? Okay. Tell them, tell them week 24. Week 25. Week 24. We are now... Week. 25. Yeah, that's right. Week 24. Week 25. <laughs> okay, Brandon. 20 weeks. <laughs> 25 weeks. No, no. Oh, it says 24. It's 34. 34. 34. 34. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a couple of things on here. And by a couple, I mean more than two. <laughs> Oh, a few. Alright. I'm now officially weighing 150, so I have gained a good 20 pounds. I've been noticing for the past couple weeks that I have been experiencing a little bit of swelling here and there. Like, in my hands, and in my feet, and in my calves. Uh, I didn't have any of that with the other two, but I'm assuming it's normal, though. I mentioned it at my doctor's appointment this past week, and, you know, they didn't say otherwise, so. For your week. I've also been experiencing a little bit of chest pains and headaches. My belly, like, I'm starting to get that line. I forget what it's called. I have to insert it right here or somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it in the last one. Maybe I just forgot to mention, but there's a bit from being pregnant and it can show up like in your second trimester or your third trimester. I had it with both of my other ones and it showed up around like the second trimester. So for it to be showing up this late in my pregnancy is a little odd to me, but <laughs> it's there now. And I've heard like two different wives tells of um, what that line means and it's like one is like a gender predictor and I don't know the details on how to predict the gender from that. I already know my, the, my See, gender is my baby so no, my baby. I guess I'll have to look that up because now I'm kind of curious <laughs> now that I'm mentioning it right now. But it was a gender predictor and I've also heard that that line also means gives you an indication of when you're going to go and labor or how close you are to labor or something. This is the breath. As you can tell, I'm still experiencing that. I don't think that's going away anytime soon. I've been having... Okay, so that last time I told you about this contraction, they were considered to be like labor contractions. I went to my doctor's appointment this past week and when they were asking me like about my symptoms and stuff and I was telling them, and then I was telling them about like the Braxton Hicks and then that one time, that one really bad episode that was in my back. Excuse me. About that one time in my back, they were actually labor contractions. And I'm assuming because I found out my last appointment, they did check me due to all those contractions that I've been experiencing and that one bad episode. 
they decided that they were going to check me and I am now currently dilated to a three and I'm assuming trying to put two and two together here but um that's kind of how that happened or where that's coming from where I'm now dilated to a three my doctor basically in different words said that I should be on bed rest but considering my two little ones that's you know what are you gonna do <laughs> like that, that's not actually gonna happen but I am doing the best that I can to stay off my feet and do as little as possible unfortunately now my husband has a bigger load to carry as far as like the house chores and then working like coming home and then doing house chores and helping more so take on my responsibility with the kids and the laundry and you know like I said a house basic house chores and stuff um, it may be TMI but it is a pregnancy update vlog video this is um, uh, my junk hurts my flaw, my junk, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All that pressure I'm feeling, it hurts. It feels like after being in labor with them, and if you have already had have had kids, you know what I'm talking about. Once you give birth, it feels like you have been like sucker punched and you are so sore, but I'm feeling that way and I haven't even delivered yet so um, just all the pressure I'm just sore he's really in my hips it just hurts but that's not anything new either <laughs> and along those lines I don't I've looked this up before but I didn't have this issue with the you know like fearing anything the past two times I guess I was just naive or completely oblivious or not really paying attention or as in tune to my body as I have been this go around but I know it sounds really silly but I feel like okay so I have to pee all the time you know my third trimester I have to pee all the time and every time I go to the bathroom I am feeling like I'm going to have a baby because of all the pressure that's there anyway. And I know it's silly and I know it didn't happen like the baby just falls out. Okay, I'll make you two, two, two later. And I know that sounds so silly. Okay, you can help me make two, two, two. And I know that sounds so silly, but I don't know. I guess just because we're getting so close. And being three centimeters dilated, I could go into labor at any minute. Really, there's really no way to tell. I mean, it could be normal is what my doctor said because this is my third baby. Um, you just tend to dilate quicker and sooner. Everything goes quicker. Um, but I guess it being my third kid just makes me... I don't know. I don't know where that fear comes from. Like, well, maybe because I went so quickly, everything went so quickly the second time around, I'm just nervous about it. But that is currently what I'm fearing. And sleeping, sleeping. I've been trying sitting up and sleeping because I have a lot of hip pains and my hips pop when I get up and that hurts too. <laughs> like all the extra weight down here in this lower region it just hurts my butt it hurts my thighs my hips all of it hurts right now i'm really not comfortable in any position but i have found that when i'm more sitting up it helps a little bit even with my big old pregnancy pillow but that is not helping me out like it used to anymore so working on trying to figure out another sleeping position because I'm super uncomfortable and around it's getting to be like every morning I'm waking up at like five o'clock in the morning and basically just well all throughout the night but like by the time it's like five o'clock in the morning like I'm 
pretty wide awake and then I'm dozing in and out until about like 7 and then I'm, that's normally when I'm starting to get up and move around. But that's all I got for you. Oh, my leg is asleep. My foot is asleep. That's all I've got going for you. I have almost got my nursery completed in the way that I want it. My nur or my I know I've said it a million times. I'm going to be doing my hospital video. <laughs> What's in my hospital bag? And um, I'll just combine that one with my baby bag for what I'm bringing to the hospital. And I'm going to change that after the hospital. But I will be doing that. I just haven't gotten to it. <sighs> just stay pretty exhausted and by the way this shirt pickles donuts pizza and ice cream is the best <laughs> maternity shirt I have come across anyways um, I got this in like in a pack of three I was doing a collaboration with one of these companies and I will list all of that information in the details below but since this video is not about that <laughs> I'm just saying I had to share my maternity shirt with you <laughs> because it is too stinking cute the best um what word am I looking for the best uh stereotypical pregnancy shirt I have found yet oh. okay so here's the bump Ooh, sorry. <sighs> Front view. Can you see that? We getting there. Feel large and in charge and sticking out and ugh, everything hurts. Everybody's like, oh, you're so tiny, but pfft, I don't feel so tiny. But I think that's just part of being pregnant and, you know, all that good jazz. I may complain a lot, but I'm just trying to keep it real because pregnancy is beautiful, but it's also, I don't want to say, what is a good word? Pregnancy is beautiful, but it is difficult. It is difficult. It's hard. There's nothing easy about it. <laughs> Especially, well, not in the first trimester when you're sick, if you're sick. And then if you have any complications, and then, I don't know. The third trimester is, even though it's flying by, from the, it starts to really go quickly for me in the second trimester after my sickness started to subside. Um, and that was like, what, 26 or 20? 27 weeks or something like that when it finally started to go away it's okay baby um and now it's flying by I'm just uncomfortable and it'll be over soon though I keep telling myself like it's okay like it's gonna be over soon I'm not one of those women who enjoy being pregnant I like the aftermath of seeing this beautiful miracle you know baby and as they get older playing with them and loving on them and that's that's the most enjoyable miraculous part of all of this but other women are like oh yeah I'd go back and do it all over again I'm just like eh once we get through it Anyways, I'm rambling. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay blessed. Um, have wonderful holidays. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment below. And engage with me. I'm really trying to get better about that. I'm better about engaging on Instagram. But here lately, I'm just, I get to it when I get to it. But I get to it. Eventually do. Yes, I, I do try to answer every single comment.
sometimes I'm just like, <coughs> life, life happens. Uh, oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Okay, come on. Let's go night night. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Hit night night. Ow. Get off the floor is not easy. I hurt you. You gonna help me? Okay. Oh, wait. Thank you. I needed that. I have been noticing that I'm feeling heavier. Shoe <laughs> fall. <laughs> okay. So, no, seriously. I'm trying to get Wait, done with this. Okay, y'all get it out of your system <laughs> now. So I can do this. <laughs> I have been noticing. I'm now weighing 150, so I have officially gained 150 weeks. No, you can't be pregnant for 150 weeks. Silly. Now I am weighing 150. So I'm now. <laughs> Silly. Okay, so I am now officially one weighing 150. Okay, sit. 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 So I'm